What's up, Rich Squad? Dominic Rich is the name. In a damn thing change. I'm back to just talk about the Argentina 23-man squad for the 2018 World Cup. It was released today. It's final. Thank you very much, Saddam Ishmael, for reminding me. Thank you, the Red Gamer. Thanks for all of you guys who remind me and who message me to tell me that such and such happened so I should make a video on it thank you very much and I appreciate it I appreciate it you guys actually want to see um, me react to stuff and actually hear what I gotta say about things so um, Argentina 23 man squad if you don't know Argentina is part of group D they have Nigeria Iceland and Croatia to contest with at the 2018 World Cup they are two time World Cup winners in 1978 and 1986. 1978, they hosted it. 1986, it was hosted by Mexico. And they got to the final in 2014, as you guys should know. Lost 1-0 versus Germany. Could they win it? Could they win it? But this is the squad they have chosen to take. We have for goalkeepers, three goalkeepers, Sergio Romero. Manchester United bench warmer, professional bench warmer. Then there's Willie Caballero, former Manchester City bench warmer, now a Chelsea bench warmer. Then we have Franco Armani of River Plate. Nice name, very nice name, Franco Armani, but I don't really know how good he is. He would actually warm the bench at the World Cup too. So there are goalkeepers. Caballero and Romero, they are good, but they are not great. They are not great and they are not playing enough. Maybe they might relish the opportunity for Argentina and come good. Maybe they will. For defenders, we have the Sevilla man, Gabriel Mercado. I like the look of Mercado. He's really busy, industrious player and, you know, look forward to seeing him at the World Cup if he starts. Then we have Christian Ansaldi. I don't know much about Christian Ansaldi, but um, he is part of the squad. Nico Otamendi, my Nicholas Otamendi from Manchester City. Well, he was actually one of the best players in the team this season. Um, completed the most passes and he has been good. You know, he has improved in leaps and bounds under Pep Guardiola as well. So he's in the squad. Then we have Fazio, the big man. From Roma, he has a he, he had a really really good season with Roma. See, they got to the semi final of the Champions League. Fazio, instrumental in that happening. Then we have Marcus Rojo, one of the breakout stars of the 2014 World Cup. He is back. Haven't been getting enough time play time with Manchester United, but um still, he's an integral part of the Argentina team. Then we have Tagliafico. He plays for Ajax, so if you're playing for Ajax, it means you're still basically kind of a, a baby. You haven't matured yet, you're still with Ajax. You need to step out from Ajax and come to the big leagues where the big boys play. So he might not be involved in the Argentina setup. He might be on the bench. He might just be there to, um, to gain experience. Then we have Marcos Acuna. He plays for Sporting. And Salvio from Benfica. These players might just be, you know, coming off the bench or just there for the experience, there for the ride um, to develop for the next World Cup. But in the midfield, so the defense, the defense isn't the strongest, strongest, strongest defense, to be honest. We might see guys like Mascherano in the midfield going back to help him out. Well, Mascherano, he moved from Barcelona to China. He's in the squad. He was really, really good at the 2014 World Cup as well. So, Mascherano is back in the squad. Lucas Biglia, now with AC Milan, formerly of Lazio, in the squad. These guys need to step up. I think Biglia and them guys don't step up enough for the national team. Eva Benega, Sevilla man, went to Inter, went back to Sevilla. He's in the squad, instrumental part of the midfield. You know, um, I admire him as a player, so... Looking forward to see Eva Benega in action. Then we have Lo Celso, Giovanni Lo Celso of PSG. He has been an integral part of the PSG team. I've seen him actually start quite a few games. So 
it's interesting to see what he is made of. Then we have somebody from West Ham United. Yeah, Lanzini. He had a really, really good season with West Ham. One of their standout players and he deservedly makes the squad. Look out for Manuel Lanzini getting picked up by one of these bigger clubs in this summer's transfer window. The transfer window opens pretty, pretty soon in a few weeks. So some of these players will actually get moves before the World Cup and during the World Cup and after the World Cup as well. The agents will be busy. Then we have Angel Di Maria, the former Real Madrid man, the former Manchester United man, flop there, and now PSG player. He needs to step up big. Where have Di Maria gone? Like, what a wonderful player he was a few years ago. Let's look back at the 2014-15 season or uh, the seasons he was with Real Madrid. That guy was amazing. Some of the things he was doing with the ball, amazing. Then last but not least in the midfield, we have a player by the name of Maxi Mexa, uh, Maxi Major, however you say that in Spanish, plays for Independiente in Argentina. So that tops off the midfield. Not bad, not bad, pretty solid midfield. Then in the forwards, we have Messi. Of course, of course, the talisman, the captain, Messi is going to be there. Then we have... Paulo Dybala, he made the squad, wow, 12 appearances, no goals yet for Paulo Dybala. Then we have another Man City player, Sergio Aguero, was on fire this season before he picked up an injury, but he decided to, you know, take a layoff so that he could recover for the World Cup, and it's nice to see Aguero at the World Cup. Score some freaking goals for Argentina, Aguero, come on, they need you, can't be relying on Messi alone. Then we have Gonzalo Higuain again. He can't seem to ever come good when he is needed. Former Real Madrid, former Napoli, now Juventus star man. Paid a whole lot of money for him. You got to go out there and perform in the light blue and white. Okay? Okay? Stop underperforming at big tournaments. And last but not least, we have Pavan player from Boca Juniors to top off the squad. Notable omissions, we have Mauro Icardi, Inter Milan captain, one of the deadliest goal scorers in the Serie A, but he still cannot replicate that for Argentina. He's not part of the World Cup squad. Still young, could be at 2022 Qatar. He'll only be like 29 or 30 years old, so he could be there still if he keeps his fingers crossed. And then we have Lotaro Martinez missing. He was a youngster, you know, um, was in the squad for the last few um, friendlies and stuff. And then we have Romero Funes Mori of Everton. I'm not surprised that he's not in the squad. Then we have Insua, Enzo Perez, Fernando Gago, Diego Perotti, and Angel Correa. Angel Correa should have been in that squad. Sad to see him miss out. Such a promising player. But these guys are not living up to expectations at all. That's the story of these Argentine players. Not living up to expectations. What a talented squad. Could they replicate what they did at the 2014 World Cup and reach all the way to the finals and actually win it? Messi needs this. Messi needs this. He's running out of time. I think he actually has one World Cup left in him. But he's running out of time. He is running out of time. He's going to be 31 and next World Cup 35, you know, he's running out of time. So Messi need to get his act together and all his fellow Argentine players need to get their act together or else Argentina will flop. They have Nigeria who they are meeting for the fifth time, grouped with, grouped with for the fifth time in World Cups. You guys think World Cups are fixed? Mm. That might be concrete evidence if... You do believe so, for the conspiracy theorists out there. And then we have Croatia. No pushovers, no pushovers. Not because I'm condemning Croatia to flop again like they have done at the last few World Cups after 1998, after they had a dream run all the way to the semifinal, came third. You know, I fell in love with them at the 1998 World Cup, but they have disappointed every one of us since with their talented squad and the debutants 
Iceland. You can't ever underestimate Iceland. Ask England from Euro 2016. Ask Croatia from the World Cup qualifiers. Ask Turkey. Ask Ukraine. Ask these teams how good the Icelandic boys are. So, Argentina, how do you think they will do at the 20, 2018? What am I say? 2014. 2018 World Cup. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I think they should get out the group. I'm having them to get out the group right now. As for now, I'm, I'm, I'm have, I have them to get out the group. It depends on who they meet in the round of 16. I would like to see them meet France. That would be a great matchup in the round of 16 though. Because if they meet Peru or Denmark, it might be a pushover. It might be a pushover for them. So France in the round of 16 will be interesting. So guys, that's my take. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Let me know if I miss anything important. You can add it down below as well. You know, I can't, I can't cover everything. So that's why I love when you guys comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Smash the thumbs up button. As I said before, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And until next time, peace out, rich squad. Let me know if you think Messi would finally, finally win the World Cup.